Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will learn the steps on how to capture a Windows 10 reference image using WDS. We are going to use the capture image which we have created in the last lab guide to capture a Windows 10 reference image. This is our Windows 10 computer on which already I have installed two applications which we need in our reference image that is Notepad++ and a Python. First, we need to press Windows R key and at a run menu, we need to type a sysprep. Let's press enter key. Here, we need to double click on this application called a sysprep. Sysprep is used to define new computer name and a unique SID to the newly built computer. This application will prepare this Windows 10 computer for the capturing. For that, we need to select generalize and then after sysprep preparation, we want to shut down this computer and that's why I'm going to click on this drop down menu and let's select a shutdown. If you want, you can select reboot as well, but this is a recommended option that you shut down this computer after a sysprep completion. Let's click on OK. This process is going to take some time to complete and once the process completes, it is going to shut down this Windows 10 computer. After that, we need to change the boot sequence to boot from network before powering on this Windows 10 virtual machine. Okay, the system is shut down and now we need to change the boot order. For that, we need to select the virtual machine and click on settings. Let's click on system and on motherboard tab, as you can verify in a boot order sequence, already I have selected network boot as a first boot. So now we simply need to start this virtual machine and we need to select the capture boot image which we have created in the last lab guide. And that will start the capturing process for this Windows 10 reference image. So simply we need to click on OK button. Let's start this virtual machine and we need to press F12 key to boot from the network. Let's press F12 key for the network boot up. Here we have a two boot images, Microsoft Windows 10 setup. This is the boot image for normal Windows 10 installation. And we have a second one, which is Windows 10 capture image that we have created in the last lab guide. We are going to use that boot image to capture a reference image. So select your capture image and then press enter key. On welcome wizard, click on next to continue. Here select the volume which you want to capture. Let's click on this drop down menu and select draw little d. Specify the image name and image description. I'm giving image name Windows 10 reference image with the description WTS lab guide. Let's click on next. Specify the location where you want to save this reference image. For that, we need to click on browse button. Let's double click on this PC. We have a one separate partition to store this image. Let's double click on drive letter E. And here I'm going to specify this image name. Windows 10 reference image dot vim. Let's click on save. So location is that e colon slash Windows 10 reference image dot vim. If you want to upload this image to your WDS server as well, that time you need to select this box. Remember, this is not compulsory to upload this image to your WDS server right now. But in this lab guide, we want to upload this image to WDS and that's why I have selected this. Now we need to specify the name of our WDS server which is member-server01.mustbenoob.lab. Once you provide your server name, we need to click on a connect button. It is going to ask us to provide the user credential. Provide the username and password and then we need to press OK button. If you have any image group created on your WDS server, that will be visible under this drop down arrow. We have created one image group with the name Windows Client OS and that is listed here. So we want to store this image under image group Windows Client OS. Let's click on next. At this console, we can verify that it is capturing Windows 10 reference image. The capturing image process is going to take some time to complete. And once the process complete, it will start uploading this capture image to our WDS server. Okay, capturing process is completed and once the capturing process complete, 
it will start uploading this reference image to our WDS server. Okay, image is uploaded successfully to our WDS server. Let's confirm the same thing and then after we are going to click on finish button. Let's move to our WDS server. Let's open WDS management console. Click on Windows admin tools. And let's double click on Windows deployment service. Expand servers. Expand member server. And expand install images. Let's click on Windows client OS image group. And now you can verify we have a one more Windows 10 image that is Windows 10 reference image. This is the image which we have created on our Windows 10 client computer by capturing a Windows 10 operating system. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer and click on finish button. That is going to restart our Windows 10 client computer. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to capture a Windows 10 reference image using a Windows Deployment Server 2019.